Hi everyone, Cody here. Now, uh, many of you requested me make a video about nitroglycerin. See, I used to make nitroglycerin several years ago, and one of my most popular videos is me hitting a drop of it on an anvil with a hammer and having it explode. I guess I'll show you guys how to make nitroglycerin. I won't make very much. Just uh, give you a brief overview of the process. Won't give you an exact recipe or anything, but uh, here we go. So here's the uh, everything I need to make a little bit of nitroglycerin. You can see I've got the acids. Here's some sulfuric acid and 70% uh, nitric acid. Uh, for some reason, 100% uh, or 99% nitric acid just doesn't seem to work. It's, it's got to have some water in there for some reason. Here's the other ingredient is glycerin. This stuff here, they sell it at the drugstore. As a, you know, you can put it on your skin to, as a moisturizer. One thing I like to do with it is, hmm, it's a very sweet taste. I kind of like to, uh, I'll mix it in with my taffy or something to make it so it's non-stick. It doesn't uh, take anything from it because it's still sweet. I would not recommend doing that with actual nitroglycerin once this has been nitrated because it'll actually thin your blood and could give you a very bad headache. I've, I've gotten a pretty bad nitroglycerin headache just by getting a drop of it on my skin and having it absorb. Uh, next thing you're going to need is a thermometer. This is a little razor thermometer, very useful. So I can see I got some fairly cold water here. Speaking of which, this is a bath of water. I got a lump of baking soda in there right now. This is just in case something goes wrong, I can just dump it in there. Also, my waste acid I can dump in there and that'll destroy it. Then I'm, for the last ingredient, I'm going to need water. This is to get the uh, nitroglycerin to precipitate out of the acid solution once we have uh, nitrated it. Now for safety, I've got some uh, leather gloves. Now rubber gloves would be better for the acid, but you see, if this bottle explodes with nitroglycerin, I don't want the glass to penetrate the glove and blow my fingers off. You know, I wouldn't mind getting a little acid on these, but these will definitely help me with the uh, shrapnel that it may be produced. I've never had nit nitroglycerin explode while I was making it, but just in case. Along with that, I've got a nice face shield, which I'll be wearing the whole time. And you'll notice I got long sleeve shirt so that this will stop the most of the shrapnel as well. So the first thing, you're going to need these two beakers here. So I need a little bit of sulfuric acid. Looks like I got about 20 milliliters in there. Now sulfuric acid is to absorb the water that was produced by the reaction. Next I'll add the nitric acid. All right. Now a little bit there, that's about 50-50 uh, mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid. Go ahead and mix those together a little bit and check its temperature. See that's about 120 degrees right now, so I'm going to want to cool that off to at least below 100. Now we've got it down to less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We can go ahead and add a little bit of glycerin now. Okay, just put in a little bit to start with. The nitration reaction will produce more heat, so I wanted to put in just a little bit, that way we don't get it too hot. I mean you want it warm. Otherwise the reaction will never occur, but if it gets above about 130 degrees, it'll start to boil and degrade the nitroglycerin and it could catch fire. See, it's already jumped back up to 126. So let's go ahead and let that cool back down to about 100 before we add more glycerin. Uh, if you uh, can put the camera up top, you can actually see some nitroglycerin that is floating on the surface of the acids. See little droplets look like little oil drops. I'm going to go ahead and continue to add a little bit more glycerin. Let's do this on camera. Alright, so now that we've got the glycerin nitrated in this beaker, we can go ahead and uh, extract the nitroglycerin from the acid. So let's go ahead and transfer this over into a larger beaker here. Okay, I'm going to set this in the bath just to keep her cool, and I'm going to pour in some cold water. You see a little bit of nitroglycerin floating on the top there. And the solution got cloudy as the glycerin precipitated out. Now if I can give it a stir to knock the nitroglycerin molecules together and down to the bottom, because they are denser than water, you should already be able to see a bit of nitroglycerin on the bottom. Let's go ahead and pour this off. Normally I'd let the uh, droplets condense, but let's, uh, for video purposes, get a good look at the bottom. 
Okay, you can see it. Can you see it on the camera too? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see the nitroglycerin in the bottom there. Let's go ahead and rinse it with water. Get rid of most of the acid that we can. There's my nitroglycerin there. Looks like I made a, about two milliliters there. I could have made more. It looks like I wasted quite a bit of it over here in my waste water. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys this quickly. Uh, it's nitroglycerin there. Now I can extract it off the bottom of this jar with a pipette. How about we go set it on an anvil and hit it, see if it explodes. So here's the nitroglycerin in this, that we just made. I got a piece of paper here. Let's take about that much. That's actually quite a bit. <laughs> Let that roll around on the paper for a second. Let's take it over the anvil. Can you go ahead and stay there? See if I can talk it into going off, shall we? Three, two, one. I'm glad I had these on. Look at that, you can still see bits of paper on me. Let's go ahead and set this down. Oh yeah. That right, right there is probably enough to do about 20 more of those little explosions. Gives you an idea of the amount of power this stuff packs. You know, I wouldn't want to make much more than that at a time because if this amount exploded, it might hurt, but it's not going to outright kill me. Too much more than that, and I'd be dead, <laughs> basically. Um, the chance of it going off when it's underwater and cold and freshly made are fairly low, but still, the, the fact is that a liter of this stuff would kill everyone within a 10 meter radius instantly. Even if the possibilities are slim, the, the implications of that are so high that there's no way I'm ever going to make that much at any one time. This right here is probably all I'll ever do. I mean, it's a it's kind of an antique explosive. It's really outdated. It's too sensitive for really modern use. I mean, if an explosion happens before you want it to, it's worse than having it not happen at all. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. And. Uh, I'd recommend not trying at home, but I'm not going to stop you. The police might. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. <laughs>